Welcome back to the Excel Cycle. Today we'll be looking at an overview of the cell cycle. There are four main stages of the cell cycle, G1, S phase, G2, and mitosis. G1 and G2 occur before and after S phase. They are periods of cell growth and make up the majority of a cell's lifetime. DNA replication occurs during S phase, therefore the cell enters G2 with two copies of its DNA. G1, S phase, and G2 are collectively referred to as interphase. Mitosis refers to the process of cell division and is divided into five substages, prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, chromatin condenses into distinct chromosomes by tightly coiling. Each chromosome is composed of two sister chromatids joined by a centromere. The mitotic spindle also begins to form as the centrioles migrate to opposite poles. The mitotic spindle is responsible for pulling apart sister chromatids during anaphase, and it is synthesized by centrioles, which are organelles composed of tubulin. Each eukaryotic cell has a pair of centrioles. During prometaphase, centrioles rapidly synthesize microtubules which begin attaching to the kinetochores of sister chromatids. It is important to note that microtubules from both poles bind to each replicated chromosome. As the cell enters metaphase, duplicated chromosomes with spindle fibers attached line up along the equator of the cell, which is called the metaphase plate. Remember that spindle fibers from each pole are attached to each sister chromatid. During anaphase, the spindle fibers pull sister chromatids apart at the centromere and each chromatid is moved towards an opposite pole of the cell. The cell begins to stretch into an oval shape. During telophase, the chromatids have moved to opposite poles and the nuclear envelope begins to reform. Chromatids also begin to uncoil and the cell prepares to complete cytokinesis. Cytokinesis begins during anaphase and continues on through telophase. It is the process of physically dividing the cytoplasm in half and forming two daughter cells. A cleavage furrow forms and slowly widens until there are two separate cells. To summarize the cell cycle, the cell first begins in G1, which is a period of growth, followed by S phase, in which DNA replication occurs, followed by G2, which is another growth phase, and then finally there is mitosis, which is the process of cell division, and it has five stages. To summarize the stages of mitosis, we begin with prophase, in which chromatin condenses into chromosomes and the mitotic spindle begins to form. This is followed by prometaphase, in which microtubules attach to sister chromatids at the kinetochore. This is followed by metaphase, during which sister chromatids align along the metaphase plate, which is followed by anaphase, in which spindle fibers pull apart sister chromatids, which is followed by telophase, in which the nuclear envelope reforms around chromatids, and finally there's the process of cytokinesis, in which the cell cytoplasm divides into two daughter cells via a cleavage furrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content in the future. And if you have a specific topic you'd like us to cover, definitely leave us a comment or send us an email at theexcelcycle at gmail.com. See you soon!